Hi everyone, it's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva back with you with another video. This video is pretty much like a demo as well as showing you how I do my eyebrows. So the product that I want to show you is this Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, I got this from Ulta during their 21 Days of Beauty. And the color that I got is dark brown okay so that's the packaging and it comes in a glass jar like this and I believe that's a little butterfly on the front very pretty and this is what the color looks like as you can see I have used it I have tried it and I want to say that I really do like this Anastasia Dip Brow. It is creamy, but kind of wet. Um, you can overdo it, so you got to be careful because you can make yourself look crazy <laughs> with this stuff right here. So what I want to do real quick is show you on my brows, and I have a mirror over here to my right um, how I use this product now for me it's not that hard to use because I normally use my elf brow kit and this particular kit here you know it comes with the wax on this side and the powder here and as you can see I use it however I noticed the difference between the two is with the brow kit is more um, waxy I should say um, and you have a longer time to clean your brows but with the Anastasia dip brow it gives you more of a matte finish on your brows and you have to work pretty fast doing it okay so let's get into how I do my brows Y'all like my hair? I'm trying something new, y'all. I tried to make it look like one of the wigs that I wear. Alrighty, so I'm going to just move this out of the way. And, you know, we're going to clip that back. Make it look a little funny. <laughs> and I'm going to zoom in just a tiny bit. Let's see. Alright, I believe that's good enough because when I look at this video... I don't want to see myself all up in my face either. Okay, so some of the implements that I have in front of me. This right here is, is to shape your brows. It's like a little razor. And I'm a cosmetologist, so I do eyebrow arching all the time. Except for I use a straight razor um, on my clientele clean ones every single time just to let y'all know we don't reuse straight razors at blazing hair creations okay but this is you know about the brows so I just want to show you that I don't really have uh, a lot of brows um, also my left brow is a lot shorter and thinner than the right brow but you know, the average person here on the YT brows are uneven as well. So I use this razor here to shape up underneath my brows just to get the little extra pieces of hair that, um, you know, will just be in the way and won't give me like a nice edge. And if you hear any yelling, I am babysitting my grandchildren, but my teenage children are also here, so I'm trying to hurry up and get this video in before my grandchildren comes in and <laughs> makes Nana save the day. <laughs> okay, so after I clean up my brows, um, then I use this brush here with the comb on the end, and I just brush them up to try to get them as shapely as I can both sides of course you got to do both sides I mean who does one brow <laughs> maybe somebody does but 
we're not. <laughs> then um, I have my eyebrow brush. And this is the one that I have. And this is actually just a Soho brush that I got at Walmart. But what I like about this particular brush here, the bristles, they're not that hard. So it allows me to glide the product onto my brows much easier. And I also have a spoolie because everybody seems to be using a spoolie. And I just felt as though I would try to do the same. <laughs> okay. So when using this here, and this is the demo part. You want to dip into your product, but you want to lightly dip into it. You don't want to really pick up a lot of this on your brush. And if you can see, that's if you can see the tips. There is product on the brush, but not a whole lot. You don't want to have a whole lot on there because, like I said, it is moist. It does feel a little wet, and you may not have enough control over it. So I like to get a steady hand, so I normally put my elbow on the table, and then I just follow the lines that we have. So let me see how I can do this so that you can see me as well. I don't try to start here in the front. I start pretty much in the middle, and I go across the top edge. And I'm not even really laying the brush down too hard. You just want to glide it across. So I'm going to get just a little bit more. And make myself a line. So there we are. Then I come here. Now as you can see right here, I don't have any hair. So I draw myself an imaginary line. And I lightly create myself a line here and just bring it in. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm touching the product just a tiny bit more. And this is my product. And I know you're not supposed to keep dipping into your brush because you're touching your face and you don't want to put germs, dirt, oil into your product. Um, but I have cleaners to clean my products as well. And I don't share anything. So I feel comfortable being able to do that. However, if you are a makeup artist, which I am not, you do not want to do that with your product. You want to take you a, a little bit out and put it to the side, either on a palette, and then um, use disposable brushes to apply that. So at the bottom here, I'm going to create the bottom arch. And I just follow pretty much what I already have. Now, without taking any more product, you want to start to brush up with your strokes. Pretty much filling it in and not going past the two lines that you have created. Now, if you need more product, by all means, definitely get it. But I believe I would be okay. I don't think I need to get any more. I just need to fill this in and um, get ready to clean it up to shape. So this is what my strange brow will look like. And of course, it's you know a little big on the bottom here, as you can see, and it's not quite even at the top, but I cleaned them up. So before I do the other brow, I get my concealer and I have several that I use depending on um, what's going to be the easiest I will use that alright I wasn't all the way prepared y'all <laughs> so I have this brush here that I got from Michaels and it is for like creams 
However, it's a paintbrush, so you know, it's meant to be wet and to spread things around. I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Concealer, and this color is W678. And I just, you know, go under my brow. However, the difference with me and what I see other makeup artists or just beautiful ladies here on the YT that's showing their makeup looks, I don't try to put it that close. I kind of just draw a line underneath. But as you can see, I'm definitely a good deal away. I want to give myself room to uh, clean up my arch and, you know, make it look as best as I can. So I take this brush here and I move the product. And by not using as much, I am giving myself a highlight. However, I'm not creating it to be too bright where I'm, you know, looking a little clownish. And that's just on me. And then I blend out. So I'll just create, you know, a nice clean line and my arch here on the side. And that's what I do. And I do the same for the top. Now, if I'm going to use like my Pro Concealer, and which one do I want to use? I'm going to use Warm Honey. Now, when I use this one, I have to be really careful. So... Also, I go, you know, across the top. However, I don't take it all the way across because that right there may even be too much for this. So, I take the product, as you can see, and just like everyone else, I shape my brow. But I just drag it along first. Create it how I want it to look. And then I blend out. Now as you can see, this concealer is a lot brighter than the L'Oreal True Match. It is the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer. And when I use this, you definitely get a faint line. So when you use this to clean up, make sure that you do it properly as best as you can. You know, I don't know if there really is a proper way. I even take some towards the front and, you know, just make myself have like a nice clean shape there. And after doing that, take your finger and blend out a little more. And that's how I have my brow. And that's how I use the Anastasia Dip Brow. I'm very comfortable with that. As you can see, I just did one. I didn't want the video to be too long. Um, I hope that looks good. At the bottom, I use the L'Oreal True Match W678. And at the top, to shape my brow, I use Warm Honey in the Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer and Warm Honey. And this is what my brows look like when I don't have the Anastasia Dip Brow on them. Alright, I'll be right back in a few minutes with both of my brows to talk to you in a few minutes. All right, so I'm back, and as you can see, I have completed my entire face. Yes, I um, went on ahead and did my makeup because I have a few more videos that I want to do. And I have a question. Why do everybody worry about what you're wearing? And if they see it more than once or twice, who cares? You know, if you got time to crank out them videos, you get to cranking out them videos. Well, anyway, the last part of this Anastasia Dip Brow 
demo is for me to show you what my brows look like after I have completed everything and I'm going to move my hair out of the way and I'm going to zoom in a bit all right and so this is what my brows look like I really do love the Anastasia dip brow I uh, like the color that I have. The color that I have is dark brown. I'll show that to you once again. This is the packaging. And my color is dark brown. This is what it looks like. And one last time, this is the color that I have, dark brown. All right, everyone, I hope that this helped you uh, figure out how to apply it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Leave them down below. To all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for spending time with me. Let me zoom out because I don't need to stay smack dab up in your face. Thanks for spending time with me. I appreciate you all for supporting me and my channel, Nunu the Hair Diva, Blazing Hair Creations. You know where you can follow me. All of that is listed down below. To all be blessed, and I'll see you in a few days with another video.